Hey guys, how is it going? I am back from my SoCal Gaming Expo trip. I had a great time. I was out in that area for six freaking days. Feels like it flew by, but at the same time, it felt like I was there forever. I got to spend it with some loved ones, friends, family, and of course my buddies. But I bought some things um, and some of the stuff I've already opened actually. Uh, I didn't get much in way of retro games when I was out there. But uh, just to touch on, uh, I'm going to kind of mix stuff I bought while I was out there with stuff that was in my mailbox when I came home. So first things first, I was given a gift from 1UP Games, which is a store in Arizona. They gave me a booster pack of Brilliant Stars Pokemon cards, which I opened. You'll see the opening on my vlog. But yeah, I, I just recently got into Pokemon cards. If you've been following the channel, here's some of the uh, some of the packs, you know, the hits, I guess, that I got in the pack. But the main hit I got was this pull from that set. It's one of those character art. So, you know, now you're getting these, like, trainer character art that just look freaking fantastic. So, that was that pull from there. And then, speaking of Pokemon, CC Stellar Sweets, which I'll leave a link to her channel down below, gave me this binder with an oversized Pikachu card. This holds the oversized cards. It's going to come in handy because I have... A lot of oversized cards right here. Uh, so I definitely needed something to put the oversized cards in. So that's really cool. I went to Walmart while I was over there in the Corona, California area. And I picked up the a gaming watch for Legend of Zelda. This was only 35 bucks. It was clearanced out. I couldn't believe this sucker was only 35 bucks. So I went out and picked it up. If you guys haven't seen it, it has the first two NES Zeldas plus Link's Awakening. A timer, a clock, and a vermin, which is a, a Link version of a Game & Watch game. So now I got this bad boy. I almost bought two because it was only 35 bucks. I was like, wow, you can't beat that. Now, at the convention itself, uh, I went nuts on the Pokemon collecting. Um, one thing that was given to me, and I don't have the box, was the Lance's Charizard uh, V Memories box. Um which is where I got this oversized card. Uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of it. I already opened it. Joshy 64 bit uh, gave me the box. I'll leave a link down below in the description to his channel as well. It's a pretty cool Pokemon box. But at the convention, I bought not one, but two Elite Trainer boxes for the brand new Brilliant Stars. They had them marked at 45, which is only just like five bucks more than the MSRP. Um, these things are starting to get scalped pretty easy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy two of them. So I spent a lot of money for those. Now, on top of that, I had an order from Pokemon Coliseum come in for some booster boxes. These were 119 each brilliant stars. So these are 36 packs of cards for brilliant stars. So I bought two of those and I actually have two more waiting on me. So I have four brilliant stars booster packs coming my way in the near future um i did look for games while i was out there but i just at the convention there was just nothing that i really wanted um i was just like eh, i don't know there's there's games here but i'm just kind of that retro game collecting bug is not as high as it used to be so i really tend to not get anything unless it's like backwards compatible xbox playstation games so whatever i can play on the ps5 or the ps4 or the Xbox Series X I'm, I'm worrying about getting. So, honestly, NES, SNES, and stuff, I have everything but the huge heavy hitters for the most part. So, for the NES, I just kind of lean back. Now, I did get some stuff in the mail that I will be doing a video of really soon. This is a Pokemon Go Reviver Plus. This was sent to my P.O. box. Basically, this is like a, um, a wristband type of device that helps... I guess, enhance and upgrade your Pokemon Go experience. It's almost like a Pokemon Plus, but with extra features as auto catch um, and it auto, uh, I guess, like spin any kind of the locations and stuff. So it basically helps your location. It's, I don't know if it's technically cheating with Pokemon Go, but I guess it could be considered that. And then I got this cool device. This is a Wingman Converter SNES. And I believe this allows you to plug a xbox one series x s xbox elite 
uh, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, PS5, and Switch Pro Controller to your Super Nintendo. So this will plug into your Super Nintendo, and you can use a modern-day uh, controller to play. <laughs> so this was sent to me, and I was like, all right, that's that's actually really cool. Um, so you just plug it in and uh, connect it to your Super Nintendo. So we'll have to see how that works. You can see the different options and stuff in the back. Um, so yeah, I did vlog the convention. I should be having a vlog come out really soon. It was a really great time. We showed the Adventures in Game Chasing movie. We sold some t-shirts. Uh, we did a panel. We game hunted for some cards. We tried to tour a little bit, do a little bit of sightseeing. But a lot of stuff in the Hollywood area and Santa Monica Pier was closed down rather early or not open at all. Uh, for the most part, though, I, I enjoy going out to SoCal. I enjoy having fun and meeting people and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I, I didn't get retro games, if that's what you guys were expecting. But I still had a lot of fun. I, that's what I like to do. That's what I like to... Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm in this Pokemon kick, honestly. And it's <laughs> it's like, to me, it's much more exciting than, than getting video games uh, right now. Um, there was some good Switch deals and stuff like that, but I'm just kind of... I'm waiting it out. Plus, I got to buy Elden Ring here uh, very soon. So, Elden Ring will be something that I will be picking up. Actually, probably, uh, when you're seeing this video, I will probably be at Walmart buying Elden Ring. I know I'm going to suck at that game. I know it's going to frustrate me. I can already tell because I'm not too good at the Souls games or anything like that. But I, I'm looking forward to checking it out, Single and Teeth. Maybe streaming it at least once and hearing you guys back seat game me um hey you're not doing it right you're man, you just a play you need to learn how to do it it's like all right calm down just let me play the game uh but yeah i'll be probably checking Elden ring out and uh forbidden west as well i have to go buy that um so many games are trying to come out it's like overwhelming you know i can only do one thing collect Pokemon cards or collect games. <laughs> nah, I'm going to do my best to do both. So I got to go get Horizon Forbidden West. I got to go get Elden Ring. Um, and yeah, I'm basically going to be spending this week catching up to date with the latest news and stuff. If there was anything that I missed, uh, let me know. It was a fun, eventful weekend. It feels like I was gone more than six days. But at the same time, like that, when the vlog comes out, probably tomorrow, I hope you guys enjoy seeing what you guys... Um, see documented I, I tried to do it honestly it seems like all you do <laughs> on trips like that is eat so you're gonna see a lot of food at least fat gamer so thanks for watching i will see you guys on the next one